served in Iraq from 03 to 04 with a combat engineer, National Guard unit from Northern Wisconsin. And I had hoped my life would go back to the way it was before I left, and it didn't. And so I uh, didn't know at the time, but I had PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. And uh, in 2008, I attempted to take my own life and uh, failed. And so then I started getting help. It's hard to keep the faith when I feel so far away. How's that sound? Once I got better, uh, or at least sustainable, I did what any good warrior would do. I turned around and looked to see who was still in trouble and ran back in to get them. And I tried to use what I'm good at, which I think is music. And so that's what I do now. Whenever I do these performances in Sing for Veterans or the community, I like to make it very clear that while war may be a political thing, the way we care for our veterans when they come home is not a political thing. I was always a songwriter, and I hadn't been able to write songs for almost five years, so when they came pouring out, I just decided to record it and put it out and you know, to whoever would listen, and then when people started identifying with them, I thought, wow, I thought this was all in my head. I need a comfortable pillow where I can lay my head Somewhere that I can call home that is more than just a bed The songs that people identified with gave them tools to communicate to their spouses, to their therapists, to their community of, like, this is how it feels and it was easier than them having to tell them their story. I need something to believe. It's painful to talk about things that uh, we see and that happen. So by putting it into music, they could point to it and say, this is how I feel. And all this welcome home, good job, we're so proud of you. Bullshit is wearing thin. <laughs> you can laugh if, you, if you've felt that feeling before. Everyone expects you to just pick up where you left off, you know, where's, where's the old husband I used to know, where's, where's the son that went to war, where is he, they hear that a lot. How do they expect a man to do the things that I have, come back and be the same? The things I've done that I regret, the things I've seen I won't forget, with this life and so many more. While well, they were home waiting for you to come home, you were having a couple lifetimes worth of experience compacted into 16 or 11 months or however long you were over there, or multiple times, and so the struggle to, to retain, to get back to where you were, which unfortunately is a place that doesn't exist anymore. I've seen another side, another slice of the pie that didn't seem too fair. To Makes the pain that I've endured and the suffering of PTSD that I still deal with on a daily basis. It gives it purpose. Time I may forgive myself, but history repeats itself and burdens my soul with regrets. Trying to find my way home. A child inside me is long dead and gone. Some people have said it saved their lives. Some people have said it just helped. Either way, you know, if it gets them one inch closer to being home than it's a mission accomplished. So how do they expect a man to do the things that I have and come back and be the same?